Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today I want to talk a little bit about a thing called forcing the changes, which is about basically making sure that you get your chord changes done in time. Now, for those people using my beginner song course app, where you're playing along with songs all the time, you're probably not likely to be having too much problem with this because the song doesn't stop. It keeps going. So you kind of have to catch up all the time and that forces you to make the chord changes because it's not stopping. And that's what happens in the real world of music. If you're playing a song, you don't want it to stop. Stopping becomes really, really obvious. You can muck up the chords as much as you like, but if you stop the rhythm, everybody realizes. Non-musicians, people just listening to you, everyone will notice that you screwed it up if you stop. So if you're going along and you're going, and then you go, If you keep that strumming going and the rhythm is right, most people won't notice. But if you go, you can hear it's just kind of disjointed and it doesn't, all of the, the feeling of the music has disappeared. So if you're not using the beginner song course app and doing the, the play along thing regularly, I really want you to work on playing with a metronome and making sure that you don't stop, that you force the chord changes to happen. There's a little bit about it. If you, if you don't stop and you're playing with a metronome or a drum groove or whatever, a backing track, if you're doing that sort of practice, your hand feels like it's not going to be the weak part of the, the, the playing here and it'll, it'll go faster, but faster than it will if you allow it to stop all the time. If you're used to going G and then stop and then putting your fingers down, and then doing the next chord. If you're used to doing that, your fingers will be like, yeah, no, I'm cool, he'll stop. I, I, can, I can do this nice and slow, I don't have to hurry. Whereas if there's a beat going on, a metronome click, you straight away have to go, ah, okay, then come on, let's get there, come on, yeah, I'll do it. They kind of go, whoa, whoa, okay, he's, he's not joking now, I have to get there. And, and that kind of pressure is a really good pressure for a beginner guitar player to have. Okay, there's good, there's good pressure and there's bad pressure. Sometimes pressure can make you fumble more. But this kind of pressure where you're really trying to force those chord changes to happen at the right time, you should be doing your one minute changes anyway and you should be pushing yourself in those one minute changes sessions to try and go as fast as you can. Don't just be relaxed and doing it like as comfortably. You should be really like, come on man, come on. You know, give yourself a little motivational chat while you're doing it and really force the chord changes to be as fast as you can. And if you combine that when you're doing your song practice, really trying to get those chords to change at the right time, put the pressure on yourself. Like I said, if you're using my app and you're used to playing along, you probably already have, this is happening naturally. But I wanted to include this lesson for those of you that are practicing on your own without, and you, maybe you've been a bit lazy with the idea of practicing with a metronome. If you have been, if that's you, Use something to keep you in time and to force you to make the chord changes at the right time. It's really, really important. You don't want to allow yourself to do these little stops. It's not the real world. It's not how what makes music feel good. Rhythm is the driving thing in music. Even if you fluff the chords up, getting the rhythm right is the key thing. So keeping yourself in time and keeping the rhythm strong will help speed up your chord changes. As long as you're aware of that and you're aware of that pressure and I've got to make those chord changes get a bit faster so that the rhythm doesn't stop. And this is something that I want you to practice if you're not doing the play along stuff. I want you to really work on that this week and in the coming weeks. Really focus on your timing, playing along with the metronome. There's loads of free metronomes available on the web or cheap apps that you can get that have got metronomes. All my absolutely fantastic Justin Guitar metronome time <laughs> trainer, uh, which you should definitely check out uh, as well because it's a great metronome. Not trying to sell it to you or anything, it's like $1.99, so uh, less than the price of a decent beer, I always say. Uh, that should be your focus on your practice for songs from now on, is, is making sure that you play the songs solidly in time and forcing the chord changes so that you always get your good chord on beat one. Even if it means leaving the previous chord a little early, you want the chord on beat one to be your real solid chord when you're practicing songs.